Good afternoon. Um, since I last did one of these YouTube videos, there have been uh, continued questions about infertility, particularly as it relates to the coronavirus or the COVID uh, pandemic we're all facing currently. Uh, the first and, and main question has been, when can we resume treatment? And as you know, the American Society of Reproductive Medicine came out a couple weeks ago with a guidance that stated we should curtail all treatments including ovulation induction, intrauterine insemination, egg retrievals, and embryo transfers for patients that weren't currently on medication in the midst of their treatment. We and most other clinics have done so. Um, yet we realize that as this crisis continues, uh, COVID will probably be with us for months and months. And of course, some of our patients have a time uh, sensitivity to their infertility treatment. Every month they get older, their eggs get older, and their chance to have a baby declines. In fact, for some patients, a three to six month delay could mean the difference between having a baby with their own genetics and requiring egg donation. So with that said, um, a task force of about 400 fertility experts around the country um, has gathered together and asked ASRM to uh, rethink um, their initial guidance. Um, they had a productive meeting with ASRM, and out of that um, came the most recent update to ASRM guidelines that was released a day or two ago. It continued to state uh, they recommend avoiding egg retrievals and embryo transfers, as well as ovulation induction, and in general, getting people pregnant at this time. But they acknowledged that infertility was a disease, that it was an elective, and that it was a time-sensitive process for many patients. Um, their next guidance is to be released in mid-April. And our hope at that time is that they will make some allowance for restarting treatment of those patients where time is an extremely important variable. As we restart treatment, whether it's late April or early May, uh, we need to do so uh, with the utmost of caution to protect our patients' welfare so that they don't contract uh, the coronavirus. And of course, protecting our staff and the staff of our anesthesia team at the same time. So I think if you have questions about your treatment and when you can restart, it's important to check in monthly uh, with your nurse coordinator. Probably when your menstrual cycle starts is a good time because that's usually when we can start a medication calendar. And I would check in monthly because either the next period or the second period from now is probably gonna be a time where we can resume treatment. Um, at least that's my sincere hope. Secondly, many of you <clears throat> have had success at CCRM. You're currently pregnant, but of course you're very concerned with the COVID situation vis-a-vis -vis your baby. Um, the American College of OBGYN has stated on their website that it appears the coronavirus does not cause more severe disease in pregnant women than non-pregnant women. So while it's never good to catch the virus, it doesn't appear to put you at higher risk if you're pregnant uh, compared to a non-pregnant person. Nevertheless, you should do everything that's being recommended by the CDC to minimize your risk for contracting the virus. There's no clear evidence that the virus is vertically transmitted, that is from you if you were to contract coronavirus to the baby in utero, but we're still learning more about the effects of the coronavirus in pregnancy. And I'm sure in the next six to 12 months, um, we'll have a better understanding of what impact the virus in a mom could have on the unborn baby. Certainly if you get a severe uh, infection with high fever, that high fever could lead to stillbirth or miscarriage and potentially birth defects such as neural tube defects. So again, avoiding infection by social distancing, proper hand washing techniques, uh, potentially using a face mask in, if you're in a busy area around people at risk, and of course avoiding unnecessary travel are all important things for you to consider. Um, I wish you the best until we talk again. Good luck with your fertility journey if you're pursuing pregnancy. And if you're one of the lucky ones that are already pregnant uh, from your treatment, uh, best of luck with your pregnancy. And we all wish you well. Uh, be safe and take care of yourself and your family. Uh, we'll talk soon.